GE142 curves and earthworks. Module 4 horizontal curves, reverse curve. So, for this fourth module, we will be discussing what is reverse curve, its types, and its application by solving um, several problems. So, by the end of this module, you should be able to first understand what is a reverse curve and also solve problems involving reverse curves. So, we have been um, discussing that there are four types of um, curves and one of them is reverse curve. Now, reverse curve, reverse curve consists of two simple curves joined together but curving in opposite direction so this is the curve one and the second curve is in opposite direction so clockwise then counter clockwise so for safety reason the surveyor should not use this curve unless absolutely necessary so when you are traveling also um very rare lang yung mga nadadaanan mo na mga ganitong curve usually curve to the left lang curve to the right yung mga S curve is a rare branch na encounter sa mga highways or sa mga daan. So, this is a reverse curve. So, this is the uh, first simple curve. And the other one is the second simple curve. So, um, in solving problems involving reverse curve, it's like treating um, two simple curve. So, ganun lang siya. Mas madali siyang isolve compare sa compound curve. So, from the point of um, curvature, then the point of intersection between the two simple curve are called a uh, point where the uh, two simple curve meet is the called PRC. That is, point of reverse curve. And the next is the point of tangency. So, meron ding mga um, chord, radius, origin, uh, inter interior angle so in la so parang dalawang simple curve lang siya na pinagdugtong so mas complicated pa yung um compound curve compared dito sa reverse curve so common tangent ng dalawa is t1 plus t2 so yung tangent nila this one so is the common tangent So, there are four cases of reverse curve. First is par parallel tangents equal radii, meaning the tangent of the first um, simple curve and the second simple curve are parallel and also their radius or their radii is equal. Next is par parallel tangent but an equal radii. Non-parallel tangents with equal radii and non-parallel tangents and unequal radii. So, we will solve some examples uh, under these cases. So, illustrative problems. First problem, two parallel, parallel railway tracks with a center line 50 meter apart are to be connected by a reverse curve of same radius so equal yung radius nila if the distance between pc to pt is 200 meters find the common radius in meters so the word here is parallel railway tracks so meaning parallel yung magiging tangents nila and same radius so this is under the um uh, first uh, type or first case ng uh, reverse curve and the easiest na is solve parallel um, tangents and with uh, equal radii. So, say meron tayong parallel na railway track. So, say ito na lang. Ito. So, this is the uh, uh, railway track number one and railway track number two. So, yung distance daw ng dalawa between them is 50 meters apart. So, this is 50 
50 meters okay now if the distance between PC to PT is um, 200 meter say say meron kang PC dito so this is PC and PT dito so the distance is simply the the long chord nung dalawang uh, nung dalawang simple curve so this is the long chord okay so draw natin yung magiging curve niya. So, basically, same sila ng radius. So, same din yung length ng dalawang curve. So, say, this is the radius 1. This is the radius 2. Okay, so this is R. This is R. This is R and this is R. Yung curve nila is natin maging curve nila. Okay. <clears throat> so, using the 50 meters and yung 200 radius, uh, 200, dis 200 distance from PC to PT, this is PT, this is R, Okay, this is the PRC. So this would be the high. So ito maging tangents nila. This is the I and this is the I no along curve. Okay, so using the 50 meters, so wala tayong I, so using the 50 meters and the 200 meters, so say this is PC, PT, this is the 50 meters, 200 meters, and this is I over 2. Okay. So using sine law, sine i over 2 is equals to 50 over 200. So this gives us na the interior angle is 28.955 degrees. Okay, so from the figure, so if this is C1 and this is C2, so we can say that C1 plus C2 is equals to 200 meters. So C1 is 2R1 sine I1 over 2 plus 2R2 sine I2 over 2 equals 200 meters. So since saming radius, so R1 is equal to R2, so 2R sign and same din yung magiging i nila 955 over 2 plus 2 r sign 28.955 over 2 cost to 200 meters so the question is find the common radius in meters so the only unknown dito is yung r. So, by simplifying the equation, we can find that r is equals to 200 meters. That is the length of radius r. Second problem. Given the lines and directions as follows, ab is equals to 57.6 meters due east. Okay, so, so line AB is 50 meters, 57.6 to east, so say this is AB. 
and then BC is 91.5 meter north 68 degrees east so that is 68 degrees yung around ganito And then CD is um, 102.6 meter azimuth 312 degrees. So azimuth is reckon from the south. So 312 is mga around 270 dito. This is 312 degrees. So this is A, B, C, and D. So a reverse curve is to connect these three lines, thus forming the center line of a new road. Compute the length. Compute for the length of the common radius of the reverse curve. Okay, so if merong dalawang simple curve, so we can say that line BC is the common tangent for the both simple curve. So, but since medyo mahaba yung BC at saka CD, meaning mm, mas malaki yung right side na simple curve. So, siguro mga around here, meron tayong curve. And then, ito ganito. So, uh, ito yung PRC natin. Ito magiging PRC. Where nandun yung common um, uh, common radius so meaning maka singhaba yung magiging radius nila so say so ganito and then ganyan ganyan so this is r this is r also this is r and this is r so this is AB, this line is AB, so equals to 757.6, and this line is BC, which equals to 91.5, and this line is CD, which is equals to 102.6 meters. Okay, so, angle of intersection, so this is I1, and this is I2. Okay, so, judging from the figure, we can say that this is 68 degrees. This here, um, this is 68 degrees. So we can say that I1 simply equals to 90 degrees minus 68 degrees. So that is equals to 22 degrees. That is I1. So yung I2 naman natin. So this is oh, this also is 68. Stand lang natin. So meaning I2 is 312 degrees minus 180 minus 68 degrees. So I2 is equals to 64 degrees. Then I2 natin. Okay. So since line BC is the common tangent, so we can say that T1 plus T2 
is equals to 91.5 meters. So T1 is, or the tangent is simply R tangent I over 2 plus R2 I2 over 2 is equals to 91.5. So, common radius meaning R1 is equals to R2 so is equals to R so meaning R tangent 22 over 2 plus R tangent 64 over 2 is equals to 21.5 meters so R is equals to 111.6876 meters. So that is the length of the common radius. So, saan to na bilong na case? So this is under um, uh, unparalleled tangent. So hindi parallel yung tangent nila kasi this tangent 1 and dito yung tangent 2. So ganun. Ah, ito pala. Ito yung tangent 2. Okay, so this is under unparallel tangent with equal radii. Assessment question. The center line of the two parallel, parallel tracks are connected by a reverse curve. The angle of intersection of the first curve is 15 degrees and the distance between parallel track is 30 meters. The radius of the second curve is 300 meters. So, merong binigyan na radius yung second curve. So, meaning, um, unequal yung magiging radius nila. So, first is compute the length of the long chord and compute the radius of the first curve. So, I wanted to answer this and submit it sa Google Classroom. So references. So that ends our module 4 and thank you for listening.